when the number of cases starts to reduce the epidemiological curve when it starts to go down it starts to have a steady decline and not fluctuating going up and coming down that way we know we are almost at the tail end so even nationally if we see that our numbers are reducing and then they are not increasing then we know we are at the tail end of our response so that will be the same way we'll be able to know that we are at the tail end of the response globally My name is Nema Norakandi, a proud alumni of the University of Newcastle, Master of Public Health degree and class of 2013. I am also a proud global alumni ambassador for Newcastle University and Australia as a whole. As a matter of fact, at my office, when anyone sends a correspondence from Australia, my boss directs it straight to me, or if they are receiving guests from Australia, they let them know that we have a graduate from Australia here. So basically, I am an ambassador for the University of Newcastle and for Australia as a whole. During the Ebola outbreak in Liberia, I had just returned from school in Australia and I served as the National Ebola Coordinator at the Liberian Red Cross because the Liberian Red Cross was supporting the government's effort with burials, contact tracing, disinfection of homes, psychosocial support, and etc. As you all may be aware, we are also battling with the COVID-19 response and i am working i am now working at the national public health institute of liberia the national public health institute of liberia is the emergency operations center for liberia we are using lessons learned from the evd response to tackle this covid response one key lesson that we learned from this Ebola outbreak, from the Ebola outbreak that can be used during this COVID-19 response or pandemic is massive testing and contact tracing because we know we have very fragile health systems and we cannot allow our health systems to be overwhelmed with a lot of patients so it will be better if we do massive testing and contact tracing so that we'll be able to isolate people. In order for us to win this war against COVID-19, as a public health specialist, I would suggest that we embark on massive testing. Our testing capacity have not increased, but if we increase massive testing globally, if every country can just do massive testing, we'll be able to isolate our contacts, we'll be able to isolate uh, people who are asymptomatic and get them into treatment units so that they cannot spread the infections in communities. I believe the biggest hurdle to recovery once we get through this COVID or this crisis will be collapsed economies because presently we have nothing going on. Globally there is no trade, no businesses, everything is just happening internally. So most of the resources will be collapsed by the time we finish and that would be a very big hurdle for us to be able to get over. We will start to see a steady decline in the number of COVID cases globally and that way we'll know that we are at the tail end of this pandemic. When the number of cases starts to reduce, the epidemiological curve, when it starts to go down, it starts to have a steady decline and not fluctuating going up and coming down. That way we know we are almost at the tail end. So even nationally, if we see that our numbers are reducing and then they are not increasing, then we know we are at the tail end of our response. So that will be the same way we'll be able to know that we are at the tail end of the response globally. We need to show love to our neighbors. We need to show love for people that cannot afford. We need to show love for the homeless. We need to show love for everybody because that way globally, showing love will be able to help us to be able to overcome most of the stigmas that are associated with the COVID response. Thank you.